a very good afternoon everyone and today for tea and tales you know i have somebody very interesting for you along with some of my colleagues which is there you know one of my belief in life has been that if you're not staying in a hostel you have not really understood how to lead a very very good life one second if you have not done a startup then you have not really you know understood how to build up a corporate life and you no know, lead that so with this different facets of it you'll be surprised to know that even legacy company like an insurance company where a startup was you know and bajaj alliance today we may have uh, 11 crore customers but there's a time when we celebrated getting 1 lakh customers and that time our ceo was sam ghosh you no know, one so i thought before i start and talk about all this let's talk about startup bajaj alliance was under the leadership of sam ghosh because he was a founding ceo for us and before i get to him i'll just well, i have two three memories which are very very strong in my mind let me speak about it before i start asking some questions and we get into the kind of conversation the first was i quit a government job to join bajalians no so you can imagine very secure pension if i die my wife gets a job kind of stuff no all that was there and i go and join bajalians generations company sam is ceo he makes a presentation and the last slide of his presentation was even my best friend gets sacked if he doesn't perform no and i was thinking holy shit man what have i got into with <laughs> Job security till I'm alive. Dead, my wife gets a job. I get a pension. I quit that job. Come here, and and my CEO shows me a slide in which you know the last slide was. I hope you remember that, Sam. It yeah, yeah, that I do. Best friend gets sacked. Then I perform. Okay, now now I got this. Right. Okay, I'm going to get sacked. So I ask him, what is performance? You no, know, obviously you understand. It. Your your job is stick. So he says it's simple. Yeah, Tamil. This is a laptop you get. This is a mobile phone. Yeah, yeah, we had mobile in 2001. Now, so you guys saw the accident. And then he said, "Look, here, you go back to your you no know, state, uh, get a business center, uh, recruit people, uh, start business, and one month's time start uh, pumping in business. One month's time, yeah. Then, then I think, okay, how many people do I recruit? Uh, that's simple. As much uh, target you take, it's one crore per person. Now, some of you are watching it today, and when I, I as CEO tell you to take one crore per person." You guys don't tell back to me. Bullshit doesn't happen like that. In my time, I didn't tell you. Tell him. He says one crore per person. How much do you take target? Yeah, it doesn't matter. Today a crore looks easy, but those days the entire industry was ten crores. No, you imagine. Uh, sorry, about ten thousand crores. So that means one crore was tough, huh? So which meant that I'd get about one one and a half person. Off goal was allowed. <laughs> no place to <laughs> no no place to set up uh, office. And business center, I had no clue what is he talking about. Yeah, so I thought, okay, I'll figure out later. Need not upset him more. And he said, okay, all the best, Tapar, and uh, uh, see you. Yeah, that's it. So with three things in mind, get sacked if I don't perform. Two, find a business <laughs> center, start business in one month's time, and one mobile, one laptop. I I left, you know, and reached the home. Next day, I'm leaving for office. I had no way to go because there's no office, huh? So my <laughs> wife asked me, what happened? I said, I do not know. I uh, where will I go? She said, "My mother told me not to marry you." She said, "He's not the right kind of guy. He's a pretty stupid kind of guy." And today, you have proven me right. That was my starting as a startup, which is there. So, Sam, do you remember the incidents like this? <laughs> the, the way you put that on and know and get people moving. And and one more thing, I never forget about Sam. Every week, I get a call from him. Only two words: "All is well." No, all good. If I said yes, the phone would disconnect. If I would say no. And if I would tell him what was the problem, in two days' time the problem would resolve, whatever it may be. And I never forgotten no all this no which is there. So over to you. Uh, some of your experiences, Sam, setting up a startup like and used to work from eight in the morning till about two in the night, guys. I remember Sam yeah. would come from Munich and there would be a board meeting. He'll land let's say two or three in the night, just go home, take a shower, and be back at four. Yeah, that is the kind of startup means startup. No office, garages, open your own shutter, no start your own generator. And uh, we had to do business, and uh, otherwise it's gone. Yeah. So that was it was the real start of the way you hear it today, like in those days. So I want to hear from you, Sam, your experience sure, sure. and how you know put it on. So, so, so Tapan, I don't know whether you came in the first meet, uh, to our office in in G Plaza on the third floor, where we had five desks or seven desks, and all of us used to sit in that open area. I, I, I don't know whether whether you came there. Uh, there was there used to be only five six of us at that time. Kamesh, uh, Praveen. Uh, then uh, Krishan Mukti joined us. Obviously, Kastan yeah. Drombik was one of the big guys there in those days. Because <laughs> Kastan got us the first policy. Do you remember that, Tapan? The first. Yeah, that uh, was. Uh, 
Yeah. yeah. <laughs> I think it was the first policy that we know who is sold. Yeah. And we got that policy in the first week, if you remember. And we yes. were straight that bloody getting one crore policy. That's why that one crore target was there. You know, <laughs> if if Kasten can go and get us a one crore policy, it's easy to go and get one crore per person <laughs> per month. <laughs> okay, now I know anyway. the background. So you told yeah. me earlier, Kasten was still that I've taken it out on him, yeah. <laughs> that one crore per person came in. <laughs> yeah. So, so, uh, but however, after that, if you remember corporate business, we didn't get any. Because as yeah. you know, corporate business, it takes maybe 12 months to try and work your way to get some business out of a uh, corporate line. But that time we thought after getting that business, it was so easy to get business. And then if once we didn't get any business, that's the time really when we all started panicking. So what do we do now? <laughs> so then we went for tie-ups. And uh, I don't know whether the company remember the Maruti tie-up. That was I think, yes. one of maybe the best ones for Bajaj Allianz. Uh, <laughs> that time... Uh, we had Mr. Jagdish Khattar, because Kamesh had introduced me to their, their head of insurance, who obviously still is there. But yeah. then I went and met Mr. Khattar at that time. And poor, poor, as you know, he passed away a couple of days back. Uh, so he told me that, boss, I'll give it to you for three months. Exclusivity, all India. So I said, take it. We didn't have, and if you remember, no systems, no processes, no branches across India. <laughs> and no bloody, no loss adjusters, no surveyors, no one there. And so we take the business. And somehow, I think uh, Philip and Kamesh, and actually Philip under Kamesh's guidelines, somehow set up that process. And nowadays, it's so easy to do. That time, we had that uh, uploading the policy document onto the, uploading the uh, vehicle registration number onto the system and then issuing the policy online. So I think we were the first ones to do that. So exactly. I still remember at, at the end of that, Maruti uh, Jagadish called me after the three months. He said, bloody damn good job you guys did. You can have it for another six, uh, for the whole year. <laughs> and I can give you three more years. So then I went back to the board and both Rahul Bajaj and the Hein Trollberg said, no way are you going to do any more Maruti business. You'll be a 100% motor company. But it was the biggest mistake we made. Because yeah. if you had, can you imagine having 100% of Maruti for three, four years? <laughs> but anyway, so that was some of the fun times. But we had real great times with all the startup team and everyone is hands-on. So I think one of the big lessons which we learned, just like what you did in, uh, even in Baroda, I still remember going the branch. <laughs> Uh, that, you know, start from scratch, build up the whole team, get everyone on board. And I always feel that we recruited the best team because they're all New India guys, all your old <laughs> colleagues. <laughs> yeah, I mean, that, that was definitely there. And I don't forget your Maruti deal simply because the policy had my mobile number. So at 2 in the oh. night, I had to <laughs> <laughs> at get a call that my car had an accident. And I, and I just go to sleep and I get up and say, okay, what happened? And the rule was to pick up all calls. You remember, we could not, no, yeah, not yeah. pick up any call, whatever time it be. Huh? So two in the night, I pick up the call and ask, okay, what happened? They said, my car has been an accident. I said, okay, where? But I do not know under a banyan tree and it's raining outside. Can you help me? What to do next now and <laughs> how to help somebody at two in the night. But I think customer obsession was something, again, which you really ingrained very well in the company. So I remember, no. You're very obsessed. Any particular customer complaint also, you really take it to the you know, uh, conclusion and you would be completely after that. I, do you remember one lakh customers celebration for a t-shirt? One lakh yeah, customers? Yeah. No? <laughs> I remember that. Yeah. But I, I think I think one of the biggest memories, uh, Tapan, if you remember, was that first year we became number one. And yes. we didn't expect to become number one, Bajaj no. Aliyans at that time. Because we thought Tata would beat us. Everyone else would beat us. We'd be maybe number four, number five. And because yes. of the Maruti deal, I think we became number one. So yeah. real celebrations, of course, after that, ICSA started picking up their gear after Sandeep Bhakti joined. <laughs> no, I think the lesson was the kind of boldness that you had to take things you know, head on was something which I always admired you know, all these years also. And I've seen you in different profiles and different roles. I think you just took things head on. I remember when you joined life also, the amount of branches you opened, I asked you once, how many branches do you have? You said, I do not know. I've lost count up on every day. I'm opening two or three. You know? And the way you took up the, <laughs> the top position. So I think that, that was something very, very unique. And for a startup, I think that culture of taking things head on, you know, going ahead and then fixing things as it moves and you know, moving at hyperspeed agility is what you really you know taught us at that point of time. Tapan, just to interrupt, do you remember the time once I told you that you're putting on too much weight? Better reduce other <laughs> level. <laughs> I don't know if you remember that. <laughs> so when I joined uh, Bajalis, I was 85. In one year's time, your fear maybe reach 105. <laughs> so then, uh, <laughs> I was not taking any time on myself. I remember you once you told me you're putting on too much weight, and no, uh, next time I should see you. And then again, I became 85. You know, in about seven months' time. So that yeah, used yeah, to be a target. Yeah. <laughs> so, <laughs> that used to be a target. How to <laughs> bring down weight and how to 
go about it i think but no. it was amazing so one of the kpis for tapan was to reduce his weight <laughs> 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 i think yeah. everything but it was always uh, i think one thing that i remember the kind of energy and the travel that you used to do so i'm not doing that i think all of us we used to work about 18 hours a day work in nearly every day including weekends but we never felt tired we were always super excited and no we were always super okay. winning mode i've never seen such high excitement maybe startups have that so what's your view on that because you have seen so many different companies in different places also do you feel all startups have that kind of you no know, energy level which is there the way we started brilliance Yeah, I, th- I think see, obviously, Bajaj Alliance I feel was different in that it was. A, I think the team was also fantastic. Uh, to be fair, we had, we had a fantastic team of people, and everyone was committed to the same goal that we have to do well. You know, there's that that energy is there. But most startups you'll find that they have this. You know, we have to do something big. Now, yeah. obviously, some achieve it, some don't. So I think that was one. But do you, uh, do you remember Tapan once uh, how we moved you around from all over India? <laughs> that was a fantastic. <laughs> no, you had promised me that when we do so much, I'll make you, uh, you no know, uh, head for this uh, region. Or so I did Correct. that pretty fast. And then uh, the call came. You go to uh, Hyderabad. I said, why the hell is breach of yeah. trust? Yeah, no. I remember that. Hyderabad actually promoted here only. They said, no, no, no. If you want a promotion, go to Hyderabad. No? <laughs> <laughs> yeah. so then you came back to Delhi, is it? After Hyderabad, so no, no, no. Yeah. yeah, then then <laughs> Delhi and in between you sent me to China for Guangzhou setting sitting retail no business there. I think lot of yeah. lot of fun was there. Delhi it was interesting. Then you said said yeah, no good. Yeah. Delhi no turn it around for us. But that is what gave me exposure. No, Sam. I think all these different yeah, yeah. Type, geographies, channels, you no know, setting it up, going ahead, no working with leaders like you, that gave me huge exposure. No to get things done. But it used to be great, great fun. I, I think I yeah, yeah, I remember. Yeah, and especially the team was very close knit. If you remember, we used to have parties. Whenever, yeah. came, I think whenever we came to Pune, we used to have parties always in the evenings. Yeah. That yeah, was like that, a. It was like a family. Well, all said and done, yeah. I think we we stuck together, no fought together, never never gave up. I think that was again a big lesson. Whatever may the circumstances be, we may have been pushed to the deepest shit at possible, but I think we never gave up. We always had to to no bounce back and and say okay, we win it and no get it here. And that is yeah. how no it kept on happening. And I think I think also in a startup culture, if you remember, uh, people like. KM Krishna Murthy yeah. and uh, and Swaraj they had to do everything themselves if you remember at one time KM like the hands on man any product as, KM as, as sales guy we used to call KM Karomat anything right to him the other day would say no after four no's he would say yes no <laughs> <laughs> but if you look at it, most of the early leaders they went on to become no CEOs of different companies KM took on Vijay General no and Swaraj again no Magma after Bajaj Correct. So I think those early leaders became the leaders for the industry, no, overall, no, and then you moved on, yeah. no, set up Reliance, and then no, uh, Bharti also. So I think one great moment of pride for us at Bajajians has been that we created so many leaders for the industry. Now Kamish is doing his uh, digit, no, which is there. So Correct. we get so many brilliant leaders for the industry, which, which I think is is a huge benchmark that got created to your point, which you said, no. No, I think I agree totally. See, if you look at other than ICIC and no other. Uh, general insurance companies produce so many leaders, and I see, I see also in general, in other than in other, all other areas, but in general insurance, Bajaj has always had the maximum number of CEOs coming out of it. And I think if you look at even some one of your marketing head, he set up his own uh, ex marketing head, he set up his own uh, lending company. Yes, like, no, even yeah, so, yeah. so I think the yes. entrepreneurship, um, the startup culture, that remained a, as a bug for all of us. Right? Even in, in in the company, also if you look at it, that kind of innovation we kept on bringing. Well, because that bug yeah. that we had to keep on doing something different every year, we had to bring up something different and do that. Correct. You know? Correct. So and think I think the other other thing which we made was everyone's equal. If you remember yeah, the yeah. culture that we had, there's it's only meritocracy. Yeah. <laughs> that that I tell people. Right? I've told people. See, somebody asked me that. No, in ten years' time, you became the MD and CEO, and I've been close to over nine and a half years close to MD and CEO for this company. Then they asked me, how did it happen? I said I would give full credit to um, Sam Ghosh. I never had to ask him for promotion or uh, for increments or this thing. Performance. Well, on my own, I would be surprised. A call would come and say, "You okay, go here. Now you're promoted here, or you become this, and now you handle this. You become this." Never, never, I had to ask or worry about no. Uh, what would I get? Uh, what would my increment be? What would my designation be? I think that is something which you always put on a very high priority. And no oiling, nothing. I don't think I, I ever oiled you all my life. I never remember that. Yeah, I, I didn't <laughs> like that oiling. Did anyone oil? <laughs> <laughs> Unfortunately, <laughs> yeah. but that's also startup type mentality. You know, startup mentality yeah. is that you know, you everyone has to work hard. You know, there's no 
no signing up to anyone and surviving because now in a, in a big corporation like yours you can have people who can take it easy and get away with it because you know it's so big that it doesn't matter anymore so but now sir, if i fast forward today when you look at valiance from the outside you no know, what is your view of the company you no know, from 1 lakh celebration to close to 11 crore customers now if you look at a partnership you no know, 240 plus banks you no know, or something you have been watching you no know, from outside now so the company that you set up as a founding ceo when you watch from outside what are your reactions how do you know see the company i think that is something which will is very intriguing yeah. all of us no no so so obviously extremely proud to be fair and i i'll to i'll be fair to you tapan that uh, the way you've taken the company forward in the last 9 10 years has been phenomenal that you kept it going at the because see it's always easy to take a company to the number one number two position but keeping it there is is the game no and ultimately that means you have to be innovative all the time and if you look at even compare your the other one you had the life company also now life company also we took it to number one position but yeah. it's it's it it has to remain there and and only the next ceo can take it and keep it going because you have to continue doing something new and i think that's the pride of it saying that yeah bajaj alliance i always say that yeah, look at bajaj alliance it's it's still there and and it's still number 2 and it's and it's a strong number 2 you know it's not like okay icsc may be doing a lot of things which they can afford to do being part of a banking system but you are doing it without having a bank in your in your fold you no know? so i think that i think is is a sense of real pride and joy that to see that the company does well and it continues to do well and everyone talks well about it see today also in those days we had that they were technically known as a technical insurance company it still is excellence of service it still has you know with the scale you you created so i think that credit obviously goes to you and your team currently that you know you've been able to maintain everything the way and to grow it because as soon as companies grow very big they become complacent also yeah you know bro, get like global yeah. sorry go on yeah you know i think it's just that that culture startup we have not let it go for us it's yeah. still a startup we still no look at it like that every day we know keep on challenging ourselves so those initial cultures that still continues remains i think as team must join us no they they get imbibe that and they also no start uh, you know become a part of it i think that's what keeps yeah. valence going in the culture of the company the way you know we will look at it and the passion for customers no to be innovative to be different and to have great fun at the end of the day i think that is what you taught us in the very early on i think we just maintain and not do that with you sam i can talk forever like that's the problem but we have to know have a little bit of time so in your okay, honor no. we have three in uh, sundarbans so no so that uh, for this occasion of yours so uh, may i request for the certificate we put up for sam and no and and thanks in last word you want to say sam before no uh, i get some uh, no, no, oh I, i wish i wish you guys all the best uh, congratulations for 20 years and keep keep the company going i think you have to make sure that you remain in top two always and obviously customer service is the only way and innovation is the only way forward and sam and good luck to you tapan hope everything goes well for you guys thank you thank you sam i just want to add one thing two is only in terms of our uh, top line in the private and this year we over to corintel also so we moved up our psu oh. we are Yeah. Fantastic! Congratulations! Yeah. Well done. And in writing profits, we always been number one, Sam. We never yeah, that I know. Technically, <laughs> always been strong. Yeah. yeah. In terms yeah. of our grievance ratio, the lowest settlement ratio, always the best. I think whatever was set as a foundation, we have now ensured that though we continue doing that. Thank you very much, Sam. I think it's such Thank a you. pleasure to have you here, and, and our conversation as it can last forever. So, uh, Thank you so much. Uh, no, we just uh, planted tree for you in Sudha. Thank Bansu. you. Thank you. Yeah. Much honored. Thank you very Bye. much, and all the best, Tapan. Good luck to Bye. you and and the team. Bye. Thanks. Thank you. Okay, now after Sam, no, who was a only CEO, I have two amazing gentlemen. Now I think uh, uh, Aditya, Sashi, and Murthy Naidu. Now all three of them are the part of the initial founding team members. No, Aditya in Delhi, Sashi in um, Hyderabad. Murthy was fluctuating in Hyderabad and Vizag in those days. No, I think he was shuttling the sometime in Vizag, sometime um, Hyderabad. So let's hear yeah. from them. What the founding CEO statement of about the company and and the way he was looking at things. No, so I'll start with let's say Sashi. No, Sashi, you joined early on and uh, you were part of Hyderabad team. And I mentioned that uh, Sam had put a presentation that if you don't perform, you get sacked. And you saw two of your heads get sacked. And then I was no uh, coming in <laughs> as the third one. And you were so afraid to become ahead in those days, no? And you said no, it is not there. And later on, no, you you got that feeling. So what is the early feeling, no? Right, no offices, nothing. Taking files home. I also remember your wife, no, uh, preparing checks while you went to sleep for a couple of hours. And the startup which was there. So your experience is such, you know, because today when you look at this company, it looked like such a magnificent, huge company. But in there were times when no, it was not such a huge, magnificent uh, 
a company as it was. It was we are all struggling to ensure that we would serve our customers well. So your experiences, Harry. Yeah, yeah. Uh, uh, <clears throat> thanks for the opportunity, boss. Uh, um, like when you and uh, Sam were speaking, like <laughs> I'm able to connect with every word and every sentence, every second. Be it the night calls you are referring to, or whatever, the, the weight management Sam was referring to, everything. So, like, I remember, uh, uh, though, like, I worked 12 years in New India, then I joined Bajaj Airlines. But in between, around four or five months, I worked for an IT company in Australia. It has a development set in India. So, after seeing for 12 years a government uh, uh, PSU insurance company and a very sophisticated IT company of Australia, then suddenly I was like, obviously I was trying. I got a call uh, uh, to see the local local regional manager uh, at the Bajaj Aliens office. Okay, Bajaj Aliens is a German multinational, and the local regional uh, manager uh, uh, is known to me for some time, though he belongs to Oriental, Mr. D.K. Mr. So I thought, okay, let me. Uh, uh, so I took, uh, I gave some excuse and moved from IT office to the first interview of Bajaj Aliens at Hyderabad. <laughs> Uh, extremely like uh, devil in uh, suit and even the tie at the time because that was the culture of the IT company. So that is how I walked into this 15 by 12 room. It is such a small room, 15 by 12 room, and one table and three chairs. And some people are standing, some people are taking notes, some people are calling. Uh, that was the biggest shock for me. And the other, I thought, uh, like, German multinational would be a better place for me to work for a government PSU insurance company. And I land up there and I realized this is what it is. Yeah, uh, the rest is okay. Uh, 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 I then went called uh, to head office and uh, uh, Kameji and uh, Swaraji, these are the two stalwarts who did my interview at uh, head office. More or less, the experience was the same. I thought head office would be somewhat different. Again, I take that in a full suit. I went into the Bajaj Ali and G Plaza at that time, it was known as G Plaza. So the uh, ground floor was, uh, if I remember correctly, ground floor was occupied. By, uh, so I walk into that room, then I see so many tables, table after table, table after table, wires running around, people busy talking. I got shocked. Yare, am I doing the right thing to do this? I don't know. I got confused. Then I. I met uh, Kameji, Kameji ke saath toda sab baat ki. Then he was satisfied. Then he said, no, go and meet uh, uh, Swaraj. I said, okay. I went to Swaraj. Swaraj said, this is what address hai? I said, sir, uh, uh, interview. Dekha, Chalo, let us go to the uh, uh, go to the gas chamber. I don't know. The world is new. Swaraj ka gas chamber kya hai? So that is a place actually when you get into the office on the left side, uh, uh, you have a small enclosure. So we went there. So that was my uh, serious, serious interview with Swaraji. Uh, it went on well, very, very engaging and uh, very friendly. Swaraji being friendly at the time, it's difficult, but he was very friendly. So that was actually a moment for me to really you know, got impressed and know this is uh, obviously they are starting up. So company is good company. Only when I came back and I have to enter into the two manabola, uh, uh, sir, uh, uh, boss, I have forgotten one uh, uh, great thing on that day. He asked me, are you happy with this uh, salary? He offered something. I said, okay, I'm going to I am happy. I said, absolutely fine, boss. Wait for half an hour. I would give you your uh, appointment letter. I got an appointment letter immediately after the interview. He said, yeah, what's the problem? We will leave you. That was a big shocker for me, big surprise also. Because like, you know, it used to take a lot of time and all So what an appointment letter, but the condition is that I should put immediately. Day, day after, only one day time was given for whatever is the travel and other thing. The day after I should be there at the office. So I went there with the appointment letter. The regional manager was happy. He said, okay, good. Uh, um, I'm looking for someone to help me out. Good that you have come. So I joined on the technical side. So I was called at that time manager technical. Uh, uh, thereafter, I think that was some sort of, you know, two layers were brought in. Then I was made the AVP uh, uh, technical. So I was very comfortable, though I did the the, the uh, uh, business part of it and the sales part of it in New India. So I thought, let me, you know, test the waters with the technical. So I thought, okay, good job. Let me see. Underwriter is good. Okay. Then <laughs> right from my seat, I have to fight for my seat. I have to create rules that the sales gets maybe Muti would uh, no worse for that. 
we told the sales guys you should not get into office between six or seven. If any decisions are to be there, you have those discussions outside across the road. We have coffee shop or the restaurant at that time. Uh, Yatri Nivas, if I remember, so that was the place for the discussions between the sales guys or if any technical issues are there. That is how we met. But biggest surprise, one of a small room. And that too, it was being uh, uh, managed by someone else. That used to tell us, "Why you may be working for six days a week or working seven days a week, but this facility works only for five days a week." So we incentivized that guy. We got the Saturday also added back. Uh, then the issue is, "Are you? This is supposed to close at six o'clock, okay? You are taking care of me. I am fine up to eight o'clock, but beyond that, I won't allow." That's another challenge. Like, TK, all the files and other things that is something you do. Uh, taking uh, the the help and assistance of my wife also. No systems to talk about. Like just the beginning of the story. Use it. We use it to get one policy number and manually enter the details and everything and get it printed and gi give it to the uh, end customer. Well, look, it is so tough. Same thing. Like all the claim phase for the day. Take it to the after eight o'clock. Take it home. Process that. Come to an amount. The amounts you enter into the system, but the checks are to be written locally. So my handwriting was very pathetic. So my wife, luckily, like her handwriting was good. She was part of the accounts also uh, as a part when she was working. So I took full advantage of that. But at the end, see, a couple of things have come to. One is, though at the time 2001, startup culture, startup concept was not prevalent. So the biggest thing, probably, like uh, what most of us like uh, uh, were not expecting, is this sort of a very healthy. Startup lifestyle, yeah, we adopted. Whoever could adopt, we continued. But otherwise, it is the uh, uh, right. then getting back to my technical function. I used to feel myself as the technical guy. I realized that within a day, not more than a day, in 24 hours, I realized like, I'm not a technical guy. I have to wear any hat, whatever hat that comes in your way, depending on the circumstances, depending on whom you are talking to. Sometimes I am the sales guy. Sometimes I am the marketing guy. Sometimes I am the technical guy. Underwriter. Sometimes I am the claims guy. I was visiting the the uh, body workshops of the dealers and trying to assess. Then and there, the giving the everything, all hats you have to wear. Of course, like a couple of things are there. When I was working with you, the miserably failed experiments of us. I think I would include you and me because Sam was referring to this issue of. Weight management. We tried hard. I hope you remember uh, uh, weight management techniques through uh, Minerva Coffee Shop <laughs> through the lunch management. We never succeeded, and we ended up having more and more. No, weight. no. We always are in Italy first, and then we would look at each other. We knew you were such. You were knew you. Then those are. <laughs> hope oh, you all remember our strategy sessions over Jalmuri. Walking around yeah. in the evening, our office oh, yeah. building. Like What there are so many to... memories. I think yeah, I would leave it there. Otherwise, this will go on as you rightly said. While interacting with yeah. Sam, this can go on, go on, go on for many many hours. So, but yeah, it was I mean, great experience. A couple of strong memories with you, Sajiv. One is that uh, getting the first power plant, Pune Sima, uh, where we become leader. I remember you tell me that we will take uh, coinsurance. I would say, "Kya, Sashi? We have to become a big company. We have to leadership. Lena hai. Sashi, you know, we will not take coinsurance. We have to take leadership. We have to be a big company, Sashi, and we will have the strength to do that." And I think for the first time in the history of the company, we went and no wrote Kona yes. Sima. That was you know a landmark. And other retail, I think we captured market share like crazy. In that was we went to 20-25 percent. People when they show me market share today, and they say they have you no know, over 10 percent. And they're over the market, and I don't feel like. But sometimes I'll tell them that we were twenty-five percent once we bought it. <laughs> <laughs> I remember Sam was also referring to the corporate business and the difficulties of breaking it. Totally agree with you. That was the turning point for us. At, uh, uh, I remember AP obviously after Konasima, after that power project, corporate started looking Bajaj Alliance within private sector Bajaj Alliance. As the only capable company to get in, the rest was history. I think you know pretty well with your strength, entire retail market we have conquered, and with the strength of the corner sima getting into this corporate. And once upon, I think we stood number two. Number two, 
just after new year in ap yeah, yeah. that was the proudest moment you i think we celebrated psus every private company and i remember after many years when i met um, uh, sandeep bakshi who is currently the md of icici bank he would say ki tapan baki sab market mein we could take on but in markets where you were there it's impossible for us to know get still that is great of him no to remember so many old stories and still talk about it i move on to other thing other you had more interesting your motorcycle was not the full now you're a big man with big cars and all but those days you had a motorcycle and that was our office no you had everything in the motorcycle i remember yes. you you were running the full office in your motorcycle no yeah. 2001 your story is other thing let's hear something from you so uh, thank you was for the opportunity and uh, i think all of us cherish the moments that we those days so started i used to start my day from janakpuri which is where people who still live in uh, janakpuri and we didn't have any office like we started with the bajaj hotels one small room and we were 12 of um, us and it was uh, it it could accommodate only six because it has only six chairs so uh, you there was no chance if, at least for seven or eight till december so i joined in august so till december we didn't have office so there was no chance that you could uh, sit in the office so i used to start i used uh, from janakpuri and janakpuri to knot place on the way i used to uh, attend uh, one dealership and two agents and from cp we used to have three or, or four of us prakash was of course there and uh, there were uh, other uh, 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 colleagues also we used to have tea maybe at 10:30 or 11 because we start uh, i used to start at 8:30 in the morning by 10:30 used to reach cp after meeting few people then uh, going to uh, bagaling was in east delhi so uh, those who who are familiar with uh, you know delhi they they can say from west delhi to east delhi then east delhi then then in in the afternoon we used to have some uh, something at uh, um, defense colony there was one or two people where we used to meet and uh, after that bikaji kama place had harpreet foods uh, corporate kind of uh, outlet where you because there was an office upstairs we used to have lunch there okay, okay we will have lunch there then 4 o'clock there was gautam motor at okhla phase 4 so those who understand delhi they can say used because unless and until you reach there 4 o'clock they used to make a check because if you are not there then they will give that check to somebody else so 4 o'clock at okhla and then taking the entire round again uh, mayapuri at 5 5:30 uh, at dd motors so that was the routine if you uh, you know calculate these uh, long uh, distance uh, i think in delhi it could be between 125 250 kilometers almost every day all these uh, locations all those people meeting them and looking at 150 kilometers then suddenly we uh, we described uh, sorry we we were we realized that nobody knows bajaj alliance so we had the one pump you know sticker of bajaj alliance that we alliance we, we care and something like this and then we didn't know what to do then on i jacket i used to put it uh, while sitting on um, the motorcycle in inside used to go to uh, dealerships and tell them uh, to uh, each dealer that i'll give you say pay you 100 rupees if you, if you put uh, these stickers to every car so sometimes it used to happen because of that they used to put it on all the cars which were not even insured by bajaj alliance but we were happy that okay at least our branding is going people are knowing that there is a company called bajaj alliance and it has a num because now i keep on telling this to most of the youngster that at that point in time we used to we had to sell what bajaj is what alliance is we had a particular script now you are lucky that wherever we go people even sometimes uh, by practice i also start this time also that i have come from bajaj alliance we are uh, 74 and 26% alliance and we are a big company this blah 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 they say no no hold on we no under we uh, do understand what bajaj alliance is we know their service standards please uh, uh, let's talk about business and other things so that was not the case initially so we had to uh, you know actually uh, you know have our sweat and blood to make the brand happen that so that people will have to will will you know recognize that what bajaj alliance is and i am happy after 20 years when we look back and see that the initial hard work had paid now we don't and we had that dream only at that point in time that one day people will recognize us by name by brand in itself that yes somebody has come from bajaj alliance
yeah it's a great journey i think you know and uh, the funny part is i was talking to aditya a couple of days back and something happened i said abhi teri umar kya hui what's your age now yaar why are you so upset about no then he told me do you know i have crossed 40 i said are you me as 20 i still i still remember you as a 20 year young boy running around motorcycle no doing business being aggressive then he opened a branch on its own now i do not know why people hesitate i remember aditya on his own asked for a branch we had no branch he set up a branch target was 6 crores he said i will do 27 crores how where do i see people like this nowadays when i tell the target is 6 crores and they say no i'll do 27 crores well, how many times four times the target no that was the era no which is there coming to murti i think with him a lot of fond memories you know when he was in uh, vizag and he had kept a old broken down car to pick me up you no know, whenever i reach vizag no and, <laughs> that all is tell him murti why do we get a new car no when this car will collapse yaar with the two of us and you drive like crazy you know where all you take me across no it will like crazy you drive me you know and i would be afraid and hold the door the door should not go off the car no before he's the client's place no murti over to you for your experience your memories no you are 20 well, years thank you very much In fact, not many people may be aware that uh, I, when I joined at uh, Hyderabad, me and Shishi more or less joined at the same time, and I joined as uh, manager of corporate marketing. Mm-hmm. And at that time, like what Shishi was saying, uh, it was it started with Yatri Nivas because we didn't have a place for ourselves. Then, if Shishi remembers, it is Sachdev Chambers, which is you know what Shishi was referring, uh, ten into ten, you know, square feet with lot of restrictions. And the rule is that uh, there were two chairs and three of us at least, you know, at senior level, Mr. D K M Saju, Sheshi, and myself. And you know, only two of us can sit at any point of time. So then uh, Sheshi and D K M has put a rule that you know, marketing guys should not come before six o'clock to the office. They have That's always been the marketing guys. No, I can look at. That's why putting marketing on some time. <laughs> <laughs> Then, then actually, if, if some customer wants to come to the office, and then like everywhere else, we used to do our best to avoid, you know, getting into the customer. And the best places we used to meet in Yatri Nivas. Then, of course, in 2002, I moved to Hyderabad and I started the Hyderabad office. And it was a different journey after I reached to Hyderabad. The initial days were, I remember, uh, you know, those days actually we used to be very cost conscious. You know, if I had to go to Hyderabad or Rajmundry, I used to plan I leave at four o'clock or five o'clock in the morning, come back by twelve o'clock in the night. Yes, in fact, there were times when I go to Vijayawada. I used to stay in R&B guest house, thinking that paying thousand rupees for a you know accommodation is a costly affair. And uh, but it was a lot of legwork. That is where we build the distribution network. A lot of offices across, including the CSR concept. And uh, in fact, uh, I think I remember uh, when in one of the Kakinada visits, when I was coming back uh, at night, twelve o'clock, suddenly I slept off on the wheel, and and when I woke up, I was on the right side of the road. So touch wood, you know, nothing came in the opposite direction. It was those kind of, you know, I mean, they were all sweet memories. I think uh, it it was a lot of hard work, but I think uh, every moment of it, even if I when I look back, I think uh, they're all moments that you know we I really cherish. And once you moved to Hyderabad, of course, you know, then it, it is a different game has started all together. You brought in a lot of migration, and you know, the corporate uh, what uh, Shashi was referring, the entry into corporate. And in fact, I think that was uh, never stopped. Actually, you know uh, that that uh, lineage is what uh, Shishu could take it forward. And the territorial wars we used to get into in terms of the fight for geographies. I remember <laughs> it was not only with within Andhra. I used to fight with uh, you know Bhagat in you know uh, Hyderabad. I mean, sorry, Bangalore. So, but it was a lot of hard work, and uh, we really like what Aditya was saying. It was uh, when I go to the customer. When we used to go to the customer, we were to run a reel of you know 15 minutes start from Allianz. What is Allianz? What is Bajaj? And it used to require a lot of convincing. I remember uh, one side to travel 10 kilometers to pick up a two-wheeler checkup. You know, 400 rupees. Those kind of uh, days. But uh, really, you know, I enjoyed a lot. When I look back, I think you know that was still the best period of my entire career. Lot, lot of hard work, but I think you know it. It was very, very pleasurable, and uh, it was a wonderful journey. Was. Yeah, it, for you it was very enjoyable. Sir, she did enjoy so much. Yeah, because <laughs> you put it. And you told me also that if you give me this, I'll do so much. <laughs> the boss, I could not say no because if somebody is asking, I would say no, and I would say yes. And then Sir, she would always scold me. What? Yes. Why give that to him? No, like how will we do a target now? Now you give this to me, you know. <laughs> But then Sashi made good. After he took over, he ensured he got all the territory back. Look, for example, the territory was. 
Nellore used it to be the most uh, controversial Nandra, in China and, and us. We got it. Yes. Yes. So and I, another I, thing was... Yeah, yes, sorry. Carry on, Murthy, please. No, I'm saying another thing was I was thinking that I was going to Hyderabad when I ultimately landed up in Delhi as the zone head for Delhi. Yeah. Yes, so yes, so, yes. <laughs> yeah, so that was again, Delhi. you know, in fact, a lot of people, you know, uh, showed a lot of, you know, pity and sympathy on Mary Murthy. What will you do, you know, going to Delhi there? But thanks to you, I think that has given me a really definitely you know, different perspective. And I was very happy after four years you know, when I left Delhi on a good note. That was some assignment. I really thank you, you know, and for you know, really giving, you know, putting me in that assignment. In fact, probably I would, would not have felt myself as a suitable guy at that point of time. But I think for the confidence what you had on me, it had gained, really gave me a tremendous opportunity for me. It was good for Murthy. I never forget. It was, I think, two or three in the night, Sashi. I just gone to sleep, yeah. After all these many calls of customers, you uh, know, of claims and all, sorting it all out and, you know, figuring things out. And then I get a call from Murthy. And again, those days, you pick up all call. At 2.30 yeah. or 3 in the night, Murthy calling. I got very worried what happened. I picked up the call. He's asking me, should I do covenant reconciliation or should I do business? I look at the time. <laughs> I tell Murthy, right now, I think you should sleep. Tomorrow, I'll solve it for you. What you should do. <laughs> yes. I remember was the day. Most of us remember the date was 28th, uh, 28th Feb uh, uh, 2002. Ladazika uh, initiative, hey? Oh my God! For two days we didn't sleep. At Hyderabad, also the same story. We started today morning the resolution. It happened next day evening. Oh my God! Very. <laughs> but I think the proud moment is like all of you. You have continued with the company for so many years. Did so many assignments. I think personally, I'm very proud of you know, each one of you. I think I can go on and on you now talking about all the great work that you've done to build the company to where it is as a formidable company, not only in India, but in Asia you know, and in the world recognized as you know, the company which serves you know, so many customers, has such kind of you know, pride in doing so. And we are so happy you know, trying to redefine customer experience. So, in your honor, we have planted um, some trees in Sundapur you know, in your name. So, this is it you know, for each one of you. Uh, Thank you. Thank you. So you have this, no, in, in your honor for 20 years. And personally, very grateful to all three of you. You have been an integral part of my career and my life, no. And um, I think it's more like a family. I, I have not stayed with my family for such a long time, no, be it my sisters or my parents, as much as I've stayed with the three of you for so many years uh, together and fought so many battles. So always a matter of very great fight. So no, thank you very much. Still a lot to fight, you know. Thank you. Thank you. Thank, thank you, you very much. Well, thank you so much. Thanks for all the leadership. Thank you so much, Bus. Thank you. Okay, now I have no Subhashi, Sudha, Sanjay, Saxena. Again, no people mm -hmm. very, very close to me. And, and the, their journey is very interesting. In fact, Sudha here, she joined even before Bajaj Alliance was created. She was part of the Alliance rep office. No? And I think if I remember, I think George or somebody was the chief representative for the Alliance uh, rep office. So you have seen it all, Sudha, from the Alliance rep office. To different tie-ups to be happening, then Bajajian is getting created, no? Then the movement here. So uh, let's start from you, Sudha. Your experiences of all this entire journey, you know, before I move on to Sushil and Sanjay. Yes, sir. Good evening, and really thankful to you, sir, for you know having me here. But yes, yes, it has been a very, very wonderful experience for me. Yes, we. I actually started, you know, in 1997. When you know the Alliance had a rep office here at the time, I had, as you rightly said, George Otto was, you know, he was a South African, and uh, he was the first boss of mine. And you know, what I, you know, I have been appointed here. There's the there's a company is not it's just a rep office. What do I do here? So he told me there is a lot of work. I was saying, what a rep office can do? You know, what a lot of work? They saying, no, no, you will have to. We are starting the insurance business. So we will have to look at the product and policy wordings and everything. You will have to type all those things and we'll have to file it. Yeah. <laughs> so, I was, <laughs> so I was just saying, oh my God. Okay, so I, I have no insurance background. No insurance background at all. So I said, I have no clue about it. Said, no, don't worry. It will take time. You will learn. So we continued with that. You know, it went on, you know, 97, 90, 99. And 99 was the time when, uh, you know, 99 in, I think, uh, Sam came in. 
that was and you know there was rishikesh shet who was the next chief representative and then after that sam kim and then yes then we continued we had all you know all the recruitment started you know a uh, risk management team you know underwriting team technical team all of them you know this that's how we started the business and the offices also we were in an office in make a chamber 6 at the time and of just all all of us in one office slowly we started growing and uh, you know we had to move into the hotel you know the trident hotel we were there for some time and uh, you know it was good fun you know you know every time you know we used to go to the lobby enjoy those moments and it was real fun after that we came back you know we got to an hospital that you know bajaj alliance offices here and it is at prabhadi we all were really excited actually but when we reached the prabhadi office we had to actually work from the basement the basement is the car parking of the bajaj alias office now so we all were working there <laughs> it was it was amazing moment yes it is we cannot forget that. every time there was a call you know we used to come out of the basement to attend the calls we can't call any of our clients there because yes you know there's no network you can't attend to the calls there yeah so we started from that then you know we had yes obviously sam all three g's sam gosh yeah. kamesh goel and pravin gupta at that time so you know they, they were there at that you know so the, the bajaj office which was there in prabhadevi actually it was a bajaj showroom so then we moved into the showroom and uh, that's how you know both bajaj alias life and general both started there or the operations there it, it it was a very good experience i can say when you whenever you know bajaj alias you know the, at that time we had partitions life and general and whenever you know life is just a policy they should ring a bell you know we used to say <laughs> <laughs> so it, it, those those moments you know are real really uh, remember still and we can't forget those yes and then yeah very soon we moved in and uh, it has been a very very good experience for us lot of learning i can say i have grown with the company i can say no doubt i've grown i didn't have any insurance background now i can say i have some knowledge about insurance i can say <laughs> No, no, you handle all the big corporates now, Sudha. You handle so well. I think you are the one uh, person I get praise from all the corporates that you handle for us, and they really, you know. So you have immense knowledge. Love that's your humbleness to say you have gained some knowledge. Very, very <laughs> yes, so, that is uh, yes. Yes, thank you, Sudha. From yeah. you, I point to Subhash. You know, in East in Calcutta again. This person, I remember him because every time we meet him, he'd ask for a new role, and I would say, "Okay, if you do this well, only then you get a new role." And he would do an amazing job, be it underwriting, be it uh, sales, and hardcore technical guy when he joined us. No, I still remember him. Not changed much. I think just a bit of hair. No, I think that is the rest. The smile, the charm, still he has it. So much. Your journey in this 20 years, no, of no seeing the company move up and no how it has. Now let's hear from you. So. Mas, uh, thank you for this opportunity. You know to talk to you on this uh, platform. Mas, it's uh, all started in uh, Calcutta, as you said, uh, from MacMind Building, and before MacMind Building, we were actually operating from a place which was with Inad's, uh, you know, moon. And there are hardly three chairs and five six people of us. So we used to do, you know, uh, take this as so she was expect, you know, that kind of setting arrangement for there. and in uh, calcutta i was actually i joined as a technical head uh, you know, for calcutta and suddenly that we had that mids tie up that you spoke, spoke, that you and sam talking about and i still remember that we used to have huge lot of calls from the claim customers because we had we didn't have any surveyor network and suddenly that you know the tie up and i still remember those days when uh, the, the first mobile i purchased when i i joined bajaj alliance uh, this big a mobile and then one call from customer another from a landline and vishwathina going down to me with another phone the another claim that kind of the tasking had started in those days but at the end of the day was in the evening say around 9 uh, 9:30 we used to have jhalmudi within a very close team in macmill building and we used to enjoy the day and the end of the day when i find that another you know 30 40 claim files are yet to be done i used to carry in my cycle i had a you know he on the motorbike i used to take it home and again after dinner i used to go so this is how it started so it it uh, and uh, for since i was handling uh, i was technical i was doing policies uh, taking the policy number from excel sheet and then typing the policies the same experience as shashi was working on so from there you know where we have reached today it's been an amazing journey 
to share with the audience about couple of experience that uh, we had together is that you know when you came from hyderabad to calcutta visit having instead of lunch uh, you had uh, omelet and uh, bread toast on on the streets <laughs> and we you remember we went to dalhousie in the office area where car moving with the car is a challenge so we decided uh, yeah. to have jalmudi and then yeah. get around to uh, vijayanagar to dalhousie is an area where we have psu developed Up. and yeah. by the evening you know you were and both of us are completely swim completely wet so this is how it all started and uh, learned a lot on the calls that we did together uh, which actually helped us but point that i want to mention is very personal to me you know uh, bajaj alliance is is a baby where we have grown together in last 20 years even today if somebody uh, you know talks anything negative about bajaj alliance it is like i feel take it personally and i feel it so bad ki why and why should somebody say anything about uh, about me which i take the pride of you know uh, starting from the beginning that's an experience so i i, I give it to uh, you know back was that you know time would be sufficient if you want you us to share all the experiences it's been amazing yeah, so much, journey yeah. to for the journey of the company and the way contributed from little technical to sales to geography is moving to karnataka you no know, then motor and i think you did amazing kind of roles subhash so very very you know well done and then like you said this company is what you no know, we all have created together and it's our baby i think that's a very well put one i come to sanjay i think i remember sanjay was the early claim set for delhi and those are like the claims was coming like you no know, files like like a tsunami of claims and i never saw his face move up from the claim files well like it was sanjay and 200 feet of claim files around him sanjay your experience is you no know, of badali uh, has been 20 years that you have been here you are on mute sanjay to unmute yourself sit yeah now audible yeah. boss yeah 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 thank you for giving the opportunity boss Ah uh, yeah, as 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 uh, Subhash has explained, my first experience was when I joined Bajaj Alliance. Uh, I, I thought I was joining a MNC company, a very plush uh, office would be there. So my first impression when I joined, uh, I, I think it was a Bajaj Auto showroom, small space was given to us. As Aditya uh, also said, it was a ten by ten room, and the we twelve people were accommodated in, in the in single room. And uh, I thought, where have I come, and where I mean, what 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 I am going to do with, with this? so uh, basically when we went for the calls we went for two dealerships for tie ups and uh, some of them told us that we don't have an office where how will you do business so first thing we did was after coming to office was we uh, we pasted a small slip bajaj alliance general insurance and uh, at the address below and took the photograph and sent and went back to the dealership <laughs> and said this, see this is the address and this is the photograph now you can give give this assured you will not go anywhere we will be here, here with you So that is how we started our business, and then we moved to. If you remember, S65 office in Kanot Place. I don't know. It it has a five feet uh, roof, so we could not stand. Also, we had to yeah. just. Uh, I had to. I had to. No, I could crouch. never stand straight in that office. Yes. <laughs> we had to crouch, and we could not stand uh, straight. And my nightmare began when we had started. We uh, started with this uh, Maruti tire when we start uh, when the plane started flowing in. And I had only Anukul Sagar with me as a service engineer, and every day we, uh, and, and my number was given on the cover note. Uh, we didn't have a call center then. People assumed that I am the call center, and I will be attending the, for, uh, the call twenty uh, four hours. In the night time, also till two or three a.m. I used to attend calls, then complete the calls early in the morning till nine o'clock. I used to be in office, uh, uh, give the uh, files to surveyors, attend the uh, attend the sur sur surveys. And Anukul used to attend the surveys in the evening, and Anukul. To bring the files, I used to process the files. By evening, night, I used to prepare the checks, and by next morning, I used to uh, uh, hand hand it over to the dealers and or the, or the customers or so over there. So this was uh, my, I mean, routine every day. And I told KG boss, Kamesh was there at the time. He when will I give another person? I want another person. I am not able to manage it. So Sanjay, till the time twenty claims come every day, you will not get another person. So fortunately, uh, he gave me one, uh, uh, another resource. Naveen Tandon, when ten claims per day used to come, and handling ten claims per day on a daily basis was a nightmare. I remember very well uh, one episode, boss. Uh, when when uh, you remember, there are thousands of files lying on the floor, floor, and uh -huh. there was no system. I had a physical 
claim register i used to write uh, like uh, i used to do in uh, initial psus uh, claim number and details and detailing one gentleman came and he said uh, sir my claim is 3 months old and uh, you not paid me my, my, there's a theft of the claim so anukul was attending to him so he said uh, he came to me boss i have checked everywhere he his his, his file is not appearing anywhere so maine kaha dobara check karo he checked again and again and again he was very embarrassed he kaha bol do ki for be his uh, his uh, claim is not with us but i said i am very i don't want to i mean like he is very irate and he is uh, i don't want to talk to him please attend to him so i went to this gentleman so he was very angry he said you aap log ye ho wo ho aap claim nahi de rahe ho my claim is pending with you so maine kaha just show me your uh, policy so he showed me his policy his policy was with uh, i think uh, royal sundram rsa so i told him boss at least check 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 where the policy is from and then that was a fun thing in, in fact uh, we, it was not a fun thing on hindsight i, I can uh, say that it was a fun thing but at that time we were so actually uh, into fire fighting mode that we could not actually see when we like do a prop thing properly so that was the starting point we had uh, obviously when people started coming in the system started improving the uh, the load the went down considerably and that was a, it was a fun moment and if uh, actually uh, given a second choice i would want to do that thing again definitely yes. it was such a good thing and we, we went to all the people in java so you would be all angry at everybody <laughs> <laughs> now yeah But, and uh, I, I, I still was, remember one thing was when we and you and me went to Jaipur. I don't know. Uh, yeah, yeah, uh, the car. Yeah. Your, 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 so I had to go. I had to tour a lot, and Sanjay became the zonal um, head for technical. And he said, "Ki next time when you are going somewhere, I'll come with you." I said, "Okay, I plan to go to Jaipur." He said, "Okay, we'll go by car." I said, "Sanjay, I, I mean, last thing I would do is tire myself driving because normally, you no, know, for me, work starts like Subhash is saying. The moment I enter." till i sleep and then i get up again and food and all was on the street i mean no wherever i get food so sanjay matlab i i sanjay said, no no i love driving so you don't worry about driving you sit comfortably you get the car i will drive and we'll go to jaipur i said good so sanjay was in full mood ki abhi to it's like picnic for me so he took my car and the car in mid summer got heated up <laughs> on the highway it caught down all smoke coming out of it there was one small tree with three leaves in that <laughs> <laughs> you're know, like 50 degrees centigrade and i'm looking at sanjay said, sanjay this is the idea you had bloody well we could <laughs> get it easily what can i do your car it has blown up now what can i do that's the tree and three trees of mine you stand in the sun now because you deserve it <laughs> sanjay opened the car is sitting on it i called up the guys from jaipur they came with another car <laughs> then we started working and i was working continuously and it became night then sanjay asked me lunch was we karte hum log ki nahi karte hai tour mein what the hell is that <laughs> we didn't have lunch boss and you were not willing to have a dinner also and yes, the whole day i was uh, i didn't have any food <laughs> so i was working at this day forgot that we have to have lunch or dinner so just after that i think it was 10 you know the night it comes to be at sir lunch lunch bhi karte hai matlab do we do lunch it's already 11 the night now i said we didn't have food he said yeah so okay okay, okay. let's let's go and have some food i don't forget that sir it was a good good It's a very very interesting, no? And I always remember that no tree, just one tree, and three or four leaves were there. Fifty degrees centigrade temperature, buddy. Jaipur and Delhi. You can imagine how hot it was on the highway. But thank you, Subhash Sanjay Suda. I think you guys defined the company. I think very very honored now that you have been with us for all these years and contributed in all the ways that you have and made this company to what it is today. In your honor, we planted trees in Sundarpan, no? So Subhash is for you, no? Sundarpan is there, and thank you very much for your. time and and the amazing conversation that we yeah. had no thank you thank you boss thank you boss thank you sir thank you thank you boss thank you so anukul come in now sanjay mentioned your name as the first service engineer of the company no and then i have prakash yes, and deepak dev should also be there no i think is coming or somebody some signal issue yes, okay yes, yes deepak is here good okay so uh I'll start with you, Anukul, because your name got mentioned in the previous conversation. You were the first engineer, auto engineer. I remember how we recruited auto engineers. So all these claims are coming in, you no, know, and we had no clue how to, you no, know, manage it. And the tie-up had happened, and we are getting, you no, know, like hundreds of claims every day. And uh, surveys uh, were not able to cope with the expectation that we had of. You know, I said people told us that motor will be huge loss making. You guys will close our business. Other private companies not doing motor business. Then they were doing very small motor business, and we were, you know, doing the maximum amount of it. And there was huge human cry, and then we decided to recruit uh, auto engineers. 
know, and said, okay, they are the ones who will be in our surveys and they will be the service engineers. So, again, the first that we did in the company. And Nukul, you were among the first of the lot who joined us. So, 20 years now, you know, you're a big man today, you know, handling our big relationships and big businesses. But those days when you joined, you know, how was it for you and what was your experience? Yes, sir. Thank you so much. Actually, I am very thankful to the company actually for giving this opportunity. I am very proud to be part of this company because this company has given to me everything. I started journey in August 11, 2001, and I can clearly, I can clearly uh, that recall my first survey along with Sanjay sir itself. Uh, we surveyed uh, a car, Maruti car in DD Motors, and that time DD Motors also na, denied for cashless. So second day I have taken Sanjay sir again along with me. Just sir, chali, Amarisha to DD mana kar then the DD motor somehow they have managed and they uh, given a condition give me uh, condition for giving the check before that releasing the car so we have prepared the check sanjay sir prepared the check at late night itself and uh, got si uh, signed by accountant and sanjay's accountant signed and given the check that uh, next day morning after that only car was released and i am again proud the dd motors is uh, that the oldest partner as of now are they are actually very fan of that uh, Bajaj Alliance also because after that DD Motor never deny cashless. So that was the journey and uh, everyone told actually now I joined in a uh, counter plus office that was 10 by 10 room and we shared uh, uh, 12, uh, almost 12. There was Deepankar, Sanjay sir, Sumit sir, Atanush Mukherjee and Aditya Prakash. So I think all of us shared that particular small room as a, our office. And after coming Tapan Bosch again to Delhi and scenario become changed because he uh, na, made uh, us to make the joint visit with that all uh, that sales guy. Yes, yes. So yes. earlier actually now we normally yeah that was that that was made mandated by Tapan sir. So every that sales guy visit but uh, sh uh, should we visit uh, na, along with that claim guy to the dealer principal and uh, sales personnel only then that company will believe on us. And actually, now we have done this and we have proved this. And uh, after that, there are so many support from our leaders and given so many opportunity. Being a technical guy, I have been given that opportunity for sales, geography as well as vertical. And I can clearly recall. So without even asking, uh, Thomas decided that you have to go to that geography, that Guwahati. And I have, uh, I have, I have, I have shifted to Guwahati. And I think, I think I enjoyed a lot and I learned a lot. For uh, this opportunity, I am very thankful to all leaders, particularly the Thank you so much. Thank you, all seniors. Thank you, all seniors. No, thank you Anukul. I remember you, the spirited boy, you know, who would, and you never hesitate any work. I think you start from the morning till late night. I never saw you tired or never saw you, you know, lose energy. You're always, you know, up for the game and you have to do whatever best you could do. No, thank you very sir, much. Th that is purely inspired by you only, sir. I never, I, I never seen you, sir, as a tired. So that is, that, that credit goes to you only, sir. Thank you, Anikul. Prakash, over to you. I think you have been our uh, champion performer, be it uh, sales, be it understanding PNL, be it understanding business, you know, looking at things very differently, challenging status quo, having the courage to speak what is right. You know. uh, your experience is, Prakash, 20 years now you have been there with us. You know. Yes, sir. Uh, <clears throat> good evening. Uh, good afternoon, actually. Uh, thank you for giving the opportunity. My camera is off because last four days I'm not well. I have uh, not tested positive yet, but a lot of symptoms are there. So <laughs> I'm trying to slightly there. So I think we have a lot of uh, great memories uh, working with this great company. And as Aditya shared uh, with you earlier, that we have a lot of common memories because we were doing the same job. So <laughs> in a different uh, geographies of Delhi. So we have a lot of uh, memories for that. And as Aditya mentioned that at 65 office downstairs, there was a tea shop. And we used to start our everyday journey from that tea shop, having bread, pakora, and tea. So I still remember, you know, <laughs> those all uh, actually four of us, two of us are not there with us now. Ankur and other people are there. So uh, one thing is there. And the secondly, sir, uh, since we all joined from a non-insurance uh, background, at that time, uh, our CEO actually, Kamesh used to say, if you're not from insurance, you can't sell insurance. So we all of us, including Aditya and all of us, uh, uh, actually proved him wrong <laughs> after two years is non-insurance guys from actually sell better insurance than a domain guy why it is so because since we didn't have a background sir what we did is we started uh, building distribution in the segment 
where people wanted to have some kind of you know job opportunity and they were not able to figure out what to do and since we were also not having the background so we went to a lot of people we we found that they have a good network and that can be utilized to build up a insurance business and today i can proudly say that a lot of people jk motors akhil uh, jain lot of people who are not having any idea of the insurance abcd we taught them and today they have become a big guys so even if today we talk to them this gives us a lot of satisfaction that at least we have created this a lot of people yeah, yeah, yes. and uh, built up a good distribution base for the organization uh, lastly sir uh, what i like to say is that uh, in the same as 65 office we have memories that we used to celebrate every business that we used to bring in yeah. even 20000 rupees business we used to have chai samosa party was some day 1 lakh then pj used to come which is shukla bazar jadam atru bazar So depending upon the business side, we used to celebrate as per the content. And that culture in your leadership also in last uh, seven eight years we are able to preserve, and this is one of the basic reason why we are here today, the largest company starting from scratch. That still are most of the sales people they feel excited, you know, they are passionate about their work. And premium, whether we are a fifteen thousand company and that time we are a zero rupees company, still have same excitement towards the premium. same attraction so that is the best part which actually uh, differentiate us uh, from the others in the industry so that's it from my side thank you no thank you prakash i think i remember that um, the chai shop no i think lot of my meetings also get uh, was held around yeah. that <laughs> but uh, in the but in the afternoon yeah. and the mornings no? i think all our yes, early sir. leaders would stand there and no and be there no thank you prakash yes. and all the hard yes, work you guys did running around and the point you mentioned that no creating this employment for so many people and today they are like millionaires and and they're doing so yeah. well no i think it gives a means yeah. of satisfaction prakash i think no fantastic yeah. i think from here i'll move to deepak sir with Thank deepak there a very interesting um, story i think i remember when uh, i as i said sam told me you can take one person no per crore so the first person i reached out uh, somebody had to do my technical work was deepak so i convinced deepak to join me he said yes and there is a okay chalo i have at least you know done one one assignment i've got a person selected for the next one the next day deepak comes to me and said i'll not join you and then i said what happened deepak he says uh, simply you don't have any office you have no uh, company brand nobody knows your company you no know? and um, a lot of private companies come and go they get closed down i'm in a government job why should i leave a government job and join you tapan and if i lose my job can you guarantee me a job why should i join you then i said um, that's a fair point uh, deepak wala you can lose your job on that i have no guarantee i didn't tell him that sam had shown me that slide no that even my best friend can get sacked when he performs i didn't tell him that slide so yeah, but i had to i cannot lie to him also that no that uh, his job would be secure if he didn't perform then the ceo was saying that he'll sack so i said um, that's a fair point deepak you will lose your job uh, but uh, deepak um, how many years do you want your job to continue you said 3 years if you guarantee me tapan no that my job would be there i can join then i said they see the company cannot guarantee you do you have faith in me he said yes company i don't have faith in <laughs> right now in you i have faith in so i told deepak okay deepak if you lose your job no for the remaining period of 3 years i'll ensure that your salary i'll no pay you from where and what i had no clue but i thought okay from my own salary i'll pay no deepak salary if he loses his job because no he was a good guy and i thought no if, if i don't have a good strong technical person they will not do business then deepak said yes and you'll not believe on the third year i remember the date when got over i called up deepak i said my promise is over deepak now you're on your own if you lose your job ready you lose your job i am not going to pay your salary anymore <laughs> with those words deepak over to you your experiences no for 20 years you are mute deepak you are mute yourself thank you sir yeah i clearly remember that this conversation we had that why should i join you uh, i clearly remember but uh, one thing uh, as sanjay was uh, telling Uh, if uh, we were on a joint sales call, I had I was mentally prepared that yar, aaj ka lunch to gaya. That was that was for sure. Aaj ka lunch to gaya. Dinner milega to bahut badi baat hai. Lunch to nahi milne wala. And that used to, and that used to happen often. 
So, uh, one of the incidents that I remember very clearly was that once me and Tapan sir, we went for a joint call. It was a very big showroom in Kanpur. Uh, he was, they were selling white goods. We told him about the company. We told him, Baja, we are Baja, we have got Allianz, he, they are the biggest insurance company, blah, 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 blah. We can, we do this, we do that. So the, the guy said, okay, uh, I will think of uh, giving the business to you. When the meeting was over and we were moving, coming out of that shop, one of his sales, sales person came to me and sir, said, Sir, you have a work. I said, we tell you. Sir, there is a mix of my house in my house. It has been bad for three days. I have complained that no one has come to the house to fix it. That was how the people perceived what Bajaj Alias is. So that is the story. But now we are a big brand. We are a band to reckon it in the market. We had very, uh, I remember a 10 by 10 office, three tables, five people, just waiting for one people to just stand from his chair so that the other person can sit on that chair. Uh, that office of ours didn't have a window. We had one ceiling fan and an AC. And in Kanpur, the worst part was that there was a power cut from 12 to 16 hours in a day. And when, when the power cut would be there, we never knew it. So when there would be a power cut generator, sometimes we have, me and Tapan sir, we would also start the generator. Generator will start. Only one fan will be there. No AC, nothing, no ventilation. And I remember when the office time was over, I used to take off my shirt and used to be an undershirt and settle the claim files. Because uh, we had a tie up with its, uh, Hyundai Motors and all the files of UP were coming to Kanpur. There was only one office in Kanpur and I used to uh, sit on the stack of files and used to settle the files. That was the day, that was the way we started the company. Then another incident was that on 31st of March 2002, we received a call from Ladda Sahab. I, I hope Tapan sir remembers it. Uh, it, was around, I th it. It was around, I think, 6 p.m. We received a call from Ladda Sahab and he told us that I want the, uh, what to call this, accounts to be fully uh, tallied and what to call uh, reconciled by tomorrow at 10 on my table. I am, I am not accounting guy. I had, we had one person named as Manish, Manish Srivastav. He was the IT guy who was punching the policies and collecting the cash. Then we had a runner who used to collect the, uh, collect the premium from various dealers. And then we had Jagjit Singh Sidhu. I think people know, you, you people must be knowing him. He was our part-time accountant. He used to come at seven in the evening and leave at nine. So, so when the phone came to Tapan sir, Tapan sir told us that पता नहीं लड़ा सब क्या समझते हैं अपने आप को इनको लगता है कि हम कर नहीं सकते we have to do it and we have to have this reconciliation done and be at the table at 10 in the morning so रात को 7 बजे Tapan sir, me, Jagjit, Manish we all started the work रात को 3 बज गया we finally were able to do it तो दो सा so अब तीन बजे रात at three in the night what we'll get just two uh, two shops uh, after our office there was a dosa shop Tapan sir, I said to Tapan sir, Tapan sir, kuch to milega nahi, dosa wale ko jaga ke, dosa banwa ke khilo, ab to bhook lag rahe, ab or nahi kuch ho sakta. So at three in the night, Tapan sir went to the shop, he knocked on the shop, he made the people to prepare dosa and at four or I think four, four thirty, we had dinner. That was the commitment at that time we had and that was the commitment Tapan sir had. And one more thing, one more thing I will talk, tell of Tapan sir was that he used to go on a lot of tours. Ilhabad, <laughs> which is around 200, Ilhabad, which is around 200 kilometers away from Kanpur, he would go in the morning to Ilhabad. At 5, he will call me, Deepak, where are Sir, office. Deepak, I'm coming to the office. I don't want to go out of the office. 
Then I would come to know that he was calling from Allahabad only and he had not even started. <laughs> so I am in the office and at 11, 11.30, 12 he used to come. Then he, we used to suggest what we to do next day. And But one thing that was very clear that at 9 in the morning, whether it was Tapan sir, whether it was me, whether it was Manish, at whatever time we used to leave the office, let it be 4, 5, 6. But at 9, we were not there in the office. That was the type of commitment we had. Thank you, Tapan sir. Thank you, Tapan sir, for guiding us. Thank you, Tapan sir, for inspiring us. Thanks, thanks a lot, sir. No, no, Deepak, I think a lot of good memories. And you know, the basic thing that we used to follow was that no policy which we have received till today will not go for tomorrow. We'll issue everything. No claim received will go for tomorrow. We used to have 100% issuance of policy, 100% claim settlement, same day. No, and we had no systems, no power. On candlelight, Deepak used to sit, sweating profusely, no, uh, settling our claims. And the rule was that nobody could leave. So if any one person is working in the branch, if in the entire work of the branch would get done, zero pendency, then we would leave for home. And next day we start fresh again. I think that was the rule. And wherever I think, go, uh, sorry, you saying something. Yeah, I, I, I just remember the instance that when I, there was a zero pendency, then you remember we received a call from Kamesh sir when we were in a Kanpur club. We were having a party, and Kamesh sir said that. Ludhiana Jalandhar is having very bad claim uh, pendency. Uh, send Deepak out there and let us clear that. So uh, I was there for a week and cleared the pendency of all the all the pending files in uh, Ludhiana and uh, Jalandhar. That was yeah. the thing that we did. No, I think a lot of um, great memories, a lot of hard work by you know each one of you in building the company what it is today. But the good part of the happy is that customer obsession, the desire to serve the customer to the fullest. No. Is still uh, alive, and that is what will keep the company going. You know, as we keep this alive with us, you no, know, and moving forward. So, I'd like to thank all of you for your intense um, uh, contribution to the organization and 20 years that you have, you no, know, uh, been with us, which is there. And in your honor, we have planted trees, Sundarban, you no, know, for each one of you. So, thank you, one cool Prakash uh, Deepak. Thank, thank you, you so much. much. Thank, thank you, sir. Thank you, thank you, so thank you thanks, thanks a lot, sir. Now, coming back, you see, 20 years of uh, Bajan Generations company, and we started with um, some stories of how a startup is today. Today, we hear a lot of glamorized version of startups. You know, this is a startup, that is a startup. What we don't realize is that even companies like ours, which we see today as magnificent companies with such amazing presence and, you know, and about 11 crore customers, biggest distribution network in the country, uh, formidable presence in terms of servicing customers, innovation, uh, doing stuff which is there. Our business partner, our, our agents who joined us very early on, the way they uh, were obsessed about customers from very beginning when we had no systems to the day today when everything is automated and no, we are using artificial intelligence, machine learning. I think their passion, their dedication, their love. I think I'll come back with another version where we'll get our distribution partners. The way they went ahead and did business service customers uh, themselves worked throughout the night to build this company to what it is today and take it to a magnificent step, which is there. But this inherent desire of ours to make a difference to uh, the uh, customers to make a difference to our people, to innovate, to keep on pushing uh, forward, to be the entrepreneur that we have been, to be the entrepreneur that we shall always remain, to take the company at the next uh, 20 years, 40 years, 100 years, and Bajaj Alliance be one of the largest companies that the world has seen, be the company in which this passion, dedication of these people. We heard their stories uh, day in, day out, no lunch, no dinner, not even bothering about what time it is, but being obsessed about customers, obsessed about building a company working from garages, working from small places where no place to sit also, sitting on the floor, settling claim files. That is what has made the community what it is today. A salute to all these people and all the great work and building the great institution. And thank you all for watching it. Thank you very much you know, for being there. And next time, in TNTLs, we have more stories for you. Join us then. Thank you. Thank you very much.